check out this Roadshow Rewind. Finding the perfect home for you and your family can be difficult, especially when it comes to the financial responsibility. So here now with the ins and outs of a home purchase is Janelle Hayes Bruno from Washington Trust. Good morning, Janelle. Good morning. Great to have you here. Thank you for having me. You know, many people out there have difficulty navigating this type of thing. It's the, if it's their first home purchase, there's a, invariably a checklist that they must go through and they might have some questions. So, you know, beginning here with mortgage payments, this is the big one because a yeah. lot of people need to establish what they're going to do with regard to this. Absolutely. So uh, you want to start by getting pre-qualified and finding out how much is that payment going to be. And I also recommend to all first-time home buyers, look at what you're paying currently and look at what you're going to be paying and start making those payments every month by putting the difference in a savings account. Right. And so you can really feel what that new payment will look like. But when you're looking at monthly payments, you're looking at your principal interest payment for the mortgage, taxes, insurance, and mortgage insurance if you were to have it. Certainly everyone's situation is different from a fiscal perspective so therefore you can kind of help people guide them to what might be right for them I would presume you know because everyone has those different price points oh absolutely so you really want to make sure that you're comfortable where you're purchasing that home that it's not going to be a reach for you and that's why I, I uh, you know recommend making those payments initially right. even before you've purchased the home to see what it'll feel like to and see what your lifestyle is and if you're comfortable there absolutely you need to be comfortable you're entering into this uh, multi-year agreement, so to speak, and it's got to be right for you. Now let's talk closing costs, sure. something that people may forget about. Mm -hmm. So when you're looking at closing costs, you're looking at attorney fees, appraisal fees, bank fees. If you're purchasing a $300,000 home, typically you want to look at somewhere between five to 7000 in closing costs. Um, those aren't all closing fees. Part of that is made up of prepaid expenses for taxes, insurance, homeowners insurance. So you're right. really looking at around 3500 in fees, and then the balance being prepaid expenses. All right, and moving on on here to real estate commission. What is this? What do we need to know here? So on a selling side, when you're looking at the commission, you're going to be paying real estate commission. It's typically around 6% mm -hmm. and it's typically split 3% um, for the buyer's agent, 3% for the seller's agent. And right. again, that's a selling expense from the sellers. And those pesky property taxes, of course, which yes. we can't escape. Yes. So you want to take a look and make sure that you understand how much the taxes are on a property that you're purchasing. Work with your agent to find out what those taxes are. And maybe there's certain towns that you want to target based on what their tax rates are. So make sure you're having that discussion. Because every community certainly is unique and different. And homeowners insurance, of course, here, important one. Yes. And it's also important that you shop around for it. It doesn't hurt to make a few phone calls to get an estimate. I mean, typically, Typically, it's anywhere from 800 to 1500 a year. Uh, so, call call a couple different insurance agents to get a quote. Fantastic and private mortgage insurance. So if you're putting less than 20% down, you are uh, required to pay private mortgage insurance. It's referred to as PMI and that's part of your monthly payment. It, it's a policy that protects the bank. Some individuals think that, oh, it's going to protect me. Um, but again, it's it's required by the bank if you have less than 20% down. You know, if uh, this segment were a home buyer's quiz, you would have taken the gold medal, Janelle. <laughs> this is, you know it all. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us here today. And My helping, pleasure. Helping those folks maybe navigate all of those things. If you guys would like even more information from our friends at Washington Trust to review any of their past segments or to review this great advice from Janelle, just visit us at roadshow.com. Be sure to catch The Road Show, weekday mornings at 9 on WPRI 12.